Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me today. So we're looking at another one of the Distress Ink and Oxide colour combinations and today we're going to be looking at Iced Spruce. Now this is one of my all-time favourite colours. In fact, I'm going to be mixing it with uh, my, probably my, my my top four of all the Distress Oxides today. Um, but doing two different colour combinations for you, but also comparing it to other kind of grey greens within the range. There's lots of greens within the uh, Distress range, um, but this one is definitely, for me, a standalone. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's, in fact, one of the colours that sat uh, in my craft stash for a long, long time, and I didn't even open it because when I looked at the label, I thought, oh, I don't know, it's more Christmassy, it's quite a muted green. I just never, I just never came round to a project that I felt needed it, but once I used it once, I was in love straight away. Hopefully you'll all feel the same when you've seen it. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is swatch this. Now, as I'm working through this video, and as with all of the Distress Oxide videos, um, we are going to be using products that I have got linked down below. So you'll see everything I'm using from the blending brushes to the clear mats that I'm blending onto. There is a clear mat under here. Uh, there's a six by six and there's also an A4 in the pack that I get these from. Um, then uh, the uh, ch color chart as well. Everything is linked down below for you so you can find all of that. So I've just swatched quite a lot of that actually. Look how beautiful that green is. It's it's what I call a eucalyptus green so it's kind of a grey green the slightest hint of blue in there as well it's perfect for Christmas time if you're doing a frosty sort of theme or feel to your card it's beautiful absolutely stunning so there's iced spruce uh, while I just clean up my mats I just want to let you know that um, if you are new to this video, if you've just stumbled across this on YouTube perhaps, we do have videos uh, alphabetically for all of the Distress Oxide colours. So I'm working through, I'm now obviously up to the eyes with Iced Spruce, um, but there will be all of them eventually. Um, so for example, uh, Black Soot Dusty Concord that I'm using today within my colour combinations, they are already there for you to go and look at individually and explore each colour in a bit more detail. Now, uh, one thing I didn't do was compare the label and I do think the label for this one is spot on. It's absolutely perfect to the colour when it's swatched as you can see. So a really, really good um, way of finding out whether you want that colour when you look at the label it's going to be very similar on white cardstock. Of course, the ink pad is always a little bit darker because it's saturated with ink and it doesn't dry, it's not allowed to dry. Distress oxides do tend to lighten ever so slightly when they dry. I'm actually going to be putting a video together for you very, very soon explaining what a distress oxide is and what the difference is between this and a distress ink because it is one of the questions I get asked most. I'm also putting together a video for you, um, they do take a while, <laughs> um, of the first, what I consider the first five colours that you should pick when you're purchasing distress oxide. The first five that will get you started and all the colour combinations, two and three colour combinations that you can create. So this is why it's taking me a little time to get that together because I am actually swatching all these colours for you. So let's take a look at my uh, colour swatch chart here. Now, like I say, this is free for you to download on my blog. That's uh, lucollinscrafts.com. Let's just go to the greens and the blues. Now, I've, this is for you to print out and then you can fill it in yourself. Uh, and it's a good idea if your printer will allow um, for you to print this out onto the cardstock or the paper that you'd usually blend into. Like I say, if your printer will take that paper because that way you'll get a really true colour. Now I have laminated mine just to keep them uh, nice and safe and um, I don't get any extra ink or anything or marks on them. Um, but that has just given it a slight matte finish. You can see you've got shiny laminate on that side and the pockets were matte on the other side. So I've given it a matte laminate. So a very, very slightly frosty shade over these. But if I bring this down to iced spruce at the bottom here, you'll see very similar there. Now, within the greens, as I say, I don't think there's anything very, very similar there at all. I think if you were to look at the lid, you might think maybe Evergreen Bow is similar. 
could be uh, weathered wood even is a blue technically at the top here uh, that's a little bit similar but nothing near speckled egg is much greener there really isn't anything that I can see that sits close to iced spruce now as we've noticed with things like some of the reds there are some colors that are quite similar and again here if you're looking at evergreen bow pine needles uh, and lucky clover they've got some similarities here you could get away if you were uh, starting to build up your stash you could get away with maybe just purchasing one of these three the same over here with the blues maybe just one of those to get you started but I think ice spruce absolutely standalone beautiful okay so now we've compared that with others within the distress ink and oxide range let's take a look at some blended combinations so I'm going to keep I've put, purposely put ice spruce in the middle there because my first combination is going to be with black soot and salvaged patina salvaged patina absolutely beautiful I'm just going to bring some uh, more ice spruce towards the end here this is just going to help with blending into the black soot okay so not all the way to the end but most of the way and you'll see why in a moment so this is going to go in the middle so let's do the salvage patina at this end a lovely bright bright aqua color really beautiful turquoise so I'm going to pop this in and this is kind of just bringing that black through into the lovely bright bold color so in this instance ice spruce is kind of sitting as a middleman between the two colors and I've spoken about middlemen before <laughs> so there we go look at that a beautiful color combination as you can see you could just use those two together uh, rather than using for example a gray maybe you could go for ice spruce which has more of a green color into it but let's just give this a wipe and let's bring this into a uh, black soot it just does work so so well I think you'll be surprised at how well it works and I do like to sometimes with my combinations rather than keep them all bright or all quite dark and um, toned down is go from dark to light particularly if you're doing a background where you've got the bright in the middle and you're working your way out to the darker edges or even vice versa this sort of combination is going to work really well now we do have uh, an individual video for black soot so you'll be able to go and see that one that's already up there because it was a B it was one of the first um, but you'll notice from that that black soot is actually more of a charcoal than a true black if you like the true black color you're better going for an ink than an oxide in this shade so just blending that I don't want to lose the ice spruce there we go I think that's not too bad at all there we go gorgeous and like I say if you imagine you're doing something in the center of your project your card making project or your scrapbook page or journal and you want something a bright color you can do the salvage patina there or it could be if you want to tone it down a little bit it could be something like speckled egg and then go into ice spruce and then into the black at the edges all the way around as a frame isn't that just beautiful so I try to keep my three color combination quite tonal similar sort of tones there um, but where I can but let's now just switch let's have a clean up and move on to another combination and this one is going to be bright this one's going to be uh, some of my favorite colors so we're going to start off a little bit darker with the ice spruce and then we're going to go into pinks and purples now uh, I'm doing this and I haven't tested it out which is always a little bit dangerous but it's pretty much all of my favorite colors so the pinks and the purples along with a green so uh, let's see how this works so I'm going to go first of all iced spruce put that on the ends there then I'm going to go into dusty concord so dusty concord is a purple um, like I say we do have a video for this one up if you want to go and see that if you go and check out the playlist everything is there alphabetically for you um, the reason I chose dusty concord and not a really really bright purple is because I wanted it to go nicely into the ice spruce if it was too bright say for example like picked raspberry it wouldn't easily blend in but because you've kind of got this creaminess 
about the two colours. Um, and this, the similar sort of uh, brightness, I guess, they work really nicely together. So just working that in small circles, as I've said before, don't, doesn't that look amazing? If you're doing Halloween, for example, that will work really, really well. Let's just pull this purple down a little bit more on this corner and do a light, a light fade out there. Okay, now let's just pop the lids on these for a moment. Give this a wipe like so and I always dry it because oxides are water reactive and let's move on to seedless preserves next so this is sort of my color that I use between pink and purple look at that isn't that just beautiful I'm again I'm very excited to go on to seedless preserves and uh, get doing some color combinations for you with this color I'm just going to blend that little circles again, just blend that into the purple, or sorry, the pinky purple, the seedless preserves. And lastly, we're going to go bright. Now again, if you wanted to just take those three, a beautiful combination, let's go picked raspberry right at the end. I'm just going to give my hand a wipe and I'm actually going to put, to help hold my piece so I'm just going to put a piece of acetate over the top and then I don't get any fingerprints on there and let's put a good dash of picked raspberry on the end there coming back to my adjoining color with the blending brush look at that now that's still a little bit damp there probably could do with a little more blending in fact just at the top here but when it's all dry, it tends to look seamless. I think when the colours are wet, that's when they don't quite look as good very often. So let's see. Put the lid back on my ink pad there. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love that. Starting with the ice spruce, going into dusty concord, seedless preserves, and then picked raspberry. So there are two colour combinations for you, both using iced spruce. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I love that colour. Um, this works really well as well into colours such as, let me just show you, for example, Rusty Hinge. You can see the two together if you want more of a masculine feel. Team this with a really dark blue, the three of them perfect there's lots and lots of different color combinations you can do with ice spruce if you want to go down the um, Christmassy route here's another one for you aged mahogany into ice spruce very very festive those colors but a nice vintage festive too so not too bright not your typical Christmas traditional red and green um, but those two together are really beautiful so I hope that's given you some ideas on how to use ice spruce for creating backgrounds and color blending um, I will be back of course again very soon with the next video in alphabetical order I hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please give me a thumbs up I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel um, so you'd cap all of the colors as they are uh, released and don't forget to check back that playlist too so you can see everything we've done so far that's it for today and I'll see you again very soon with the next color take care everybody